Yo, what's up and welcome back. Today we're looking at House of the Dragon. This is an escape room in a box, essentially a sequential discovery puzzle, meaning there are tools to be found, there's a sequence to be had in order to unlock this puzzle box. Solved a couple of these in the past, similar puzzles. Uh, they all tell a cool story, so I'm looking forward to this. It says 60 minutes, challenge accepted. Before we move on to the video, I just wanna say uh, last video, I was giving away these claws and a lot of you entered in, in the comments and, and, and asked uh, me to send you one. I had five to give away. I've given away one and then it occurred to me that there are so many scammers on YouTube telling people in my comments that they've won something to contact them on Telegram. Um, you're hearing it here. Please, if it's not verified, and if you click on their profile and it doesn't bring you to this YouTube page, do not send them any information, report it, please. It's a big problem on YouTube right now. And, and because of this, I'm, um, I'm gonna ask you guys, if you wanna win that claw, head over to my Instagram instead and just on my latest post, just comment like a claw giveaway or claw or anything about the claw, just so I know that you came there for that and I'll choose four of you over there and we'll send you uh, one of those. So I'm not gonna do any giveaways on YouTube uh, with the YouTube comments anymore. I'm terribly sorry for making you go through that. And please just, again, a word of caution, don't telegram anyone who, what even is telegram by the, I thought like we're living in 2023. Can we stop using telegram? Like this video, subscribe if you aren't already and let's get into solving House of Dragon. We've got my timer here. Boop, 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 boop. Timer is set. We've got a pad and paper because always good to take notes. And let's start. So this looks uh, to be Japanese, which is nice because I'm actually planning a trip to Japan. I've been brushing up on my Japanese a little bit. I'm still uh, very much a beginner, but, uh, but yeah, this is thematic for me. Okay, first thing we do with these, uh, how's the focus there? What's going on with the focus? Please focus. Thank you. Um, the first thing we I like to do with these is just have a look on the outside of the box. If there's, uh, we just kind of look at all sides, take notes if we have to. And also another trick that I have is just kind of uh, thinking out loud. Um, I think it helps the process because you might stumble upon something you otherwise didn't, uh, didn't pick up. So first thing. We've got this side here with with a wheel, this little wheel here, and there are symbols and words inside uh, these circles. Over here, we've got a bunch of knobs, which seem to be stuck. They have flowers on them. Maybe the flowers have something to do with something over here. There's also a little hole here, maybe a keyhole. Um, we've got this sort of sliding bamboo door that is stuck seems to be attached to that little lip here and then we've got this what is this oh got this here oh it just keeps sliding back in uh it has the word hachi hachi which is actually the number eight in japanese i'm gonna write that down my uh, japanese is paying off already <laughs> uh, i've got a door here my guess is this is the final compartment this seems like an epic door you can usually tell what the final compartment on these things are and uh then underneath we have what seems to be backwards words i'm guessing they're backwards womo no idea what that means shimi san which is San is three. Uh, Noko and Kata. I don't know what those mean. And on the top we have, we have this cool sleeping dragon. And, uh, oh, okay. So this rotates this thing here. Little squeaky. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, oh, and we got a tab here, a little pull tab. And here we have a diagram. Um, and the diagram has a bunch of sort of katakana symbols. And 
what looks like one, two, and three, these little tiny lines, which might be one, two, and three, telling us that this might be a numbered grid, which would make sense since we already have two numbers. So a good start to this puzzle indeed. Um, this as well looks like it can slide down because of the gaps here. And it's being held by this, which is a small pin. And that pin, I can't grab. That pin might be attached to this. Can I push it? Oh, it comes out. It doesn't turn. Oh! We have our first tool, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Our first tool is discovered. This comes out nice, which means this also comes off. Yes. And what are we given here? Oh, this, <laughs> great. Uh, one to nine in Japanese. Ichi, ni, san, yon, go, roku, shichi, hachi, and ku. Those are, that's one to nine. So your daily Japanese lesson, you're welcome. Um, okay. We did have, now we have a key, what I assume is a key, because we had this keyhole here. So we are going to try and, ah, uh, there we go. Slide that bamboo door open, which then pulls this out and, oh, oh we have another tool, a mirror. Okay, my, <laughs> my guess is the mirror was for, uh, for these words here, which you don't need to be a genius puzzle solver to know that this was just written backwards, I feel. But thank you for the mirror, I do appreciate it. I love a good little contraption inside my puzzles. Um, also, another thing I wanted to touch on about uh, the last puzzle video we did. Uh, thanks for the feedback. You guys wrote, you know, you, you let me know what you thought about it. Some of you liked the calmness of it, sort of ASMR aspect, and some of you really didn't like it at all, uh, but you let me know, and I do appreciate that because I was looking for feedback, and although it's not something we're going to be doing all the time, it feels good to switch it up a little bit. And as I mentioned, it's just redundancy. That's why we're filming in this office right now. We just want to change things up a little bit. Um, everything becomes too formulaic. And, uh, and as such, it's just, uh, I, I don't want to hate what I do is the last thing I want. So keeping it creative, keeping it fresh is really important for, uh, for myself as a content creator and as a human that wants to stay sane. So there you go. That's, <laughs> thank you. Okay. What about the words in here? Oh, we have Ichi, as you can see. The, the J's look like eyes though, but it's Ichi. So that's one. Uh, Kuro is nothing, but Roku is six. Uh, I'm just gonna put that in parentheses because it's not spelt correctly. Sano, just write that down. I don't know if that is anything. What's that? Jo, yo, there's a S H M K. R O S A. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any other words there. So the next thing is now that we have numbers. Oh, there's also this go, which as we know, according to our legend here is the number five. We now have numbers eight, three, one, maybe six and five. So instinctively, I do think that we're gonna have to put those numbers in here. Now we don't have the number seven, that one has been extracted. Um, but we do have the number eight. So let's, can we pull these? We can, eight, three, one, maybe six and five. That nah, doesn't seem to be going anywhere. 
It's unfortunate. That would have been one of the quickest <laughs> one hour puzzle solves that we've ever done. Uh, that's okay. Okay, what's next? We have these, are these still tools that we can use somewhere? If you use that, we have actually, there was this here. This is another little, uh, maybe this guy. It doesn't fit. There's uh, something blocking that. Yeah, it's not attached to that wheel either. So it just doesn't go in further than that. That does look like a keyhole though eventually. So maybe there's something we're gonna be sliding which will open that hole up for us to, to play around with. We'll see. Uh, huh. What would you guys do in this situation? Is there anything that comes to mind that I'm not thinking of? Let me know. I do enjoy reading comments when it comes to puzzle solving because it, I don't necessarily think my methods are always correct when solving puzzles. It's just what I've sort of developed over the years of solving them. But sometimes you guys drop a comment and I'm like, oh my God, that's genius. Or I should have thought of that. I, I don't claim to be the best puzzle solver in the world and never have, um, but I do claim to enjoy them quite a bit. Uh, but some of you out there are definitely better puzzles, puzzle solvers than I am. I do believe that. Okay. This definitely, this and this are definitely the next moves to be done here. This and this here. Uh, okay. Eight, three, one, let's try that with a six, two, actually. We didn't try that one. Eight. That is a no go. That is a no go. Hmm. A little stumped, I will admit. We're missing another word here, another number. Do you guys have something to do with the flowers? I hope not. <laughs> There's so many flowers on this box. Seems to be a recurring theme though. Yeah, itchy really seems to be the only word that's on there. So 8315, I mean, we've tried it. What if we pull out the other ones? Two, uh, four, four, six, nine. Oop. That is a negative. There's gotta be another pull tab somewhere that I haven't discovered. And usually with these puzzles, that's the case. A lot of times it's just like, you gotta like, th like this tab here and this tab here. I just can't seem to see any other ones. Oh, this is interesting. Hold on. This actually might be something. Um, there is a discrepancy here. If you look at these two, 
This one here seems to be loose. I might be able to get it out, maybe using this. Yes. Yes! Let's go! I thought for a second that um, that wasn't meant to be pulled out, but apparently it has a little arrow on it, which means it does. And now we've got another tool. Does this one go in there? No, same type of deal. Yeah. Okay, we've got two. Huh. Are we meant, actually, are we meant to remove all the ones that aren't numbers that we have? Because so far we have four and seven, which we don't have. So two should also be removed. Uh, nine should also be removed. Six should also be removed. They do not come out. Urgh. Oh! Let's go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that was a nice way of solving it. So in essence, we had to remove two, six, and nine, which we didn't have here, plus those. And now this comes out, which is great. What does that do? There's also this symbol here, which, which is the same symbol we have on that second square here. So I don't know what that means. Maybe this is a some type of tool that we need to use. No. Do we put it back in the other way, maybe? No, that doesn't fit over there. Huh. Oh! Let's go. Do all of these come out? No, just this one. Is this our tool? Oh, it does fit. Oh, because this here um, actually opens and closes a small compartment in here. So if we open it, we can then push this in. Hey, and the door opens up. Let's go. <laughs> We've got our prize, which is a sleeping dragon sleeping in a cave of crystals. The, uh, the Dungeons and Dragons player within me is very satiated right now by this little prize. Prizes like this inside these puzzles, they might not be much, they might not be valuable, but it is just something to let you know that you've won, that you've gotten to the end of it, and it's so important that people add this in. So I really do appreciate when they add tiny little things like this, uh, even though they're quite literally meaningless, it does feel good, man. So I'm gonna put that back in. Let's try to, what's that, 17 minutes. You know what I said? I wasn't the best puzzle solver in the world just like 16 minutes ago. <laughs> I hate to toot my own horn, but this was an hour long puzzle. So maybe I take that back. <laughs> There's no coffee in here. Okay, let's get back to putting this back together. Um, that goes back in there. Let's take this out. Come on. That goes out. This closes. Uh, that closes. We're gonna do this in speed time. Let's see the reset, how long it takes to reset. So give it a couple seconds. Uh, we then had this went in here, I believe. Yes, nope, it's the wrong way. All the flowers are all in the same direction, so that's how I know it's the wrong way. There we go. Uh, this was next. 
I'm gonna put the code back in. What was it? Two, oops, six, and nine. There we go. That's back in. The mirror. The mirror. That's back in as well. Uh, there's, the, there's the number two. So look at that, two minutes, 18 seconds of reset. That is pretty good. Uh, considering normally a lot of puzzles like this become a bigger headache to put back together than they were taking apart. But in this case, uh, very delightful, fun indeed. Good solve, great Japanese lesson. You guys rock. I mean, what more can I say? If you guys want to check it out, I left the link to Escape Out below. They've got other ones. Uh, I've got another one here somewhere sitting around that we can try out next time if you guys want. Leave a like, subscribe, um, and uh, let me know what you thought of this puzzle in the comments below. This is just my attempt at gaining a little bit more of uh, engagement for the algorithm monster that chews away at my soul every week. Thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Bye.